Yes, yes. Good. Thank you, Mr. Sushil. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, welcome to the show, Rubaru. Uh, this is your host, Sushil Bharati. Today we have with us uh, Mr. Prabhakar Agraja. Uh, welcome to the show, Mr. Prabhakar. Hello, sir. Welcome, Mr. Sushil. Thank you so much for giving giving me a great opportunity and being in Australia. And you're you're interviewing from MSTV from Delhi. Am I right? Yes. Delhi. Okay. Great. It's my pleasure, sir. Pleasure to be there in the studio now. Great. So let me uh, brief about Mr. Prabhakar Agraja. He's the CEO and founder of Australia India Music Award. He's called, in short, Aima, and uh, he's a great singer, actor, and uh, whatnot. So let me explain. I know. I, let me explore the journey of uh, Mr. Prabhakar Agraja. So, sir, my first question is uh, with uh, you. Is the but you have established, you know, first organization in Australia, recognizing the passion and talent of Indians in Australia, which is called AIMA. What was the reason behind it? What was the story? Just share with us. Uh, All right, the... sir. Sir, I have, uh, from my childhood, right, I, I have been uh, exposed to not-for-profit organizations and also NGOs from yeah. India. And my father and grandfather uh, did a lot of voluntary work uh, for uh, Tirumala Tirupati Devasthanam from Tirupati, being in my hometown and uh, being born and brought up there. Uh, we always got used to this community work, community service, singing, being, you know, um, looking into the arts and music and all that. So that's part of my brought up has given me a lot of passion towards starting an organization because I have. I have also worked for other organizations who are which are not for profit organizations, cultural organizations, uh, and I I started finding a gap, you know. So I wanted to do something, you know, where I have to take an initiative where I should not feel that I own it. I should leave it to the people. I should leave it to the passion of the people where they should feel this as an adda, like a, like a tent, like a platform for them to come and do whatever they like. Yeah. So that is where, and, and the main point I would like to mention here, you know, to the audience, yeah. um, once again, thank you MSTV. So, because people have to know this, there are 17,000 cultural and not-for-profit organizations in Australia. Okay. And there is a lot of gap. The gap is people always wanted to do for two things, either for fame or money. Yeah. And the people who actually engage these cultural organizations to build the culture or to showcase the culture is artists. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone who is recognizing this artistic talent other than just coming and giving a memento mm -hmm. uh, 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 and then getting down the stage? Is there anywhere that they can really showcase the talent, not just five or 10 minutes slot in a, in mm -hmm. a bigger cultural show? Mm -hmm. It's not possible here. So that is the reason we claimed it. Okay, we wanted to do something different for mm -hmm. all the talented singers, musicians, and artists, especially from Indian diaspora. Mm -hmm. And that is where this Australia India Music Awards started. It's mm -hmm. it's not an old organization. It is only one and a half year old. Let me tell okay. you this. Mm -hmm. It started only March uh, uh, March 2020 after the announcement of this. Uh, uh, lockdown. Mm. Okay. Where people started using bells, making sounds, prayers, whatnot. You know, lockdowns everywhere. Um, uh, we started hearing so many people dying in uh, globally. So mm. that's where we started. Okay, like people are unable to get out of the home, and I started praying by singing songs online. Oh. And the title I gave it was COVID Geet Mala. COVID Geet Mala. Wow. COVID Geet Mala. Yes. Because it's a COVID wave which stopped everyone to step out of the home. Mm -hmm. Then I started praying. Okay, let's let's let me start praying. Being an artist, I don't want to just be a singer. You know, I want to pass a good message to the community. Stay home, stay safe, mm -hmm. and and look after your loved ones. Okay. And utilize the time for arts and music. Mm -hmm. 
and we started singing just like online like zoom sessions mm. okay and we did plenty of sessions like that you know with with my other friends and uh, uh, like minded artists and like minded uh, organizers and i spoke to some um, other organizers from india um, dealt with so many organizations and then came up with a name where we found a vaccination okay now we need to find a good name for this because we started giving awards from covid geetmala so now we should title it properly where the the, the it should reflect australia and india mm. and it should it should really mention about music mm. and this is this has to be an award ceremony for all the artists mm. so that's where aima has come up with oh lovely oh lovely oh, that's a, that's a nice story you know so you actually uh, in that odd situations you created an opportunity for the people to come forward and you energize them you know, with your uh, creative Ab- absolutely sir, sir i mean i don't take any credit because if 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 we don't do who 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 else can do who yeah. will do you know yeah. i agree this I has agree. to be a parampara where people have to grow people have to come out of their comfort zones and they need to at least you know come up with because people started going to gyms i mean the home gym exercise yoga what not you know everything started going for walks and all that yes. looking up the health and what about the well being and and food for thought which is yes. arts and music lovely and uh, uh, mr prabhakar uh, to recognize the passion and talent of indians in australia who hide their passion so how did you you know uh find you know the talent what is the process why they are hiding their passion you know is there uh, anything uh, are they you know totally in this uh, materialistic life or they don't give a, a proper time to their passion what is the flex scenario because of, because there is no spiritual sense in the lifestyle okay there is no essence of spirituality in the lifestyle Mm-hmm. it is it is very very materialistic because i people mm-hmm. are job oriented rather than passion and career oriented okay and mm-hmm. some of the people they don't know the difference mm-hmm. and i myself struggled the mm-hmm. finding a difference between job and a career mm-hmm. and it is very very hard the the weekends are people people are left with only weekend otherwise most of the time they spend at work you know 40 hours mm. monday to friday and the work if they like it fantastic because there is no work which is a bad work okay it's all about passion and profession if they are, if they both are same that's a fantastic lifestyle they will lead you know because that's that gives lot of fulfillment than anybody else great right? that shows uh, the difference Yeah, now, yeah now 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 what what i felt you know like with the hidden talent right people have shyness they don't know how to present they don't want to present in front of audience they don't want to come out to the stage they don't want to leave their comfort zones but they want to do people get disappointed ah oh, i can sing better than this but i am not singing there because you never participated you know yeah. made a try to go and participate yes we have taken expression of interest from more than more than i think 700 artists as of now from our database yeah. we did multiple events yeah. you know as you can see from uh, you know uh, i don't want to talk about aima and what i did and all that because people will do research on me they'll come to know but i'll just talk about the outcomes and what we have given what, what it has impacted the community great uh, mr prabhakar you know uh, as far as this entertainment industry is concerned so so what happens basically the people have got a talent you know they have got uh, dancing talent singing music whatever but the point is uh, generally in 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 if i'll talk about the indian scenario they do generally don't get a job easily so what is the scenario what is the job opportunities are in australia which you have created you must have seen something you must be you know promoting uh, them to uh, for this entertainment industry so right. what what are the scope yeah there there are two things sir because uh, 
creating a career in entertainment industry is not easy okay you need to bring out an extraordinary talent like where here i can see there are so many dj's who work in the nights who work in the weekends they make a lot of money they really see their career and future you know and i can see a lot of people enjoy playing instruments and they still make that as a profession mm. so what i always say is you do what you like to do and get paid for it don't see the m factor which is money factor and then choose your career right and and when it comes to the passion right um it's not about it's not about you know playing a cricket in the weekend you know like a lot of people we play a sport in the weekend just for our pleasure so that is what i'm trying to say is bring out your passion so that the passion may become a profession one day oh. it's not going to become automatically you need to try mm. right and you need to be entrepreneur uh, you need to have the entrepreneurial mindset uh, more than just a singer more than just a dancer mm. you need to organize yourself mm. plan yourself mm. and pl- plan let's not plan to fail you know if we don't plan we plan to fail mm. great great yeah i agree uh, uh mr prabhakar you just mentioned that you started the covid beat mala in uh, in that uh, during that pandemic time so was that for the australian audience uh, specifically or you were you know inviting indians also to participate in that uh, great sir if it is online we i encouraged almost all the countries around the world like we did Uh, one of the online event called anamacharya singing contest one of mm. a great saint and poet for lord venkateshwara mm. from a, a, you know so many ages ago from tirupati uh, who has given so many songs for us to sing you know mm. uh, there are 32000 songs and uh, where we always do his jayanti and vardanti every year so one fine day around uh, january uh, last year we have conducted a competition for annamaya singing contest and we have received uh, more than 8 to 9 countries around the world to participate in that mm. now now uh, on 22nd of january 2022 which is in next uh, couple of weeks we have a program for sirvanala sitaram sastri mm. okay who passed away recently in india is a great poet great uh, lyricist mm. you know who has given who penned um, thousands of songs for telugu film industry uh, mm. now we have selected few songs we selected 14 singers uh, and and we are doing event in australia locally right in from melbourne and on 9th of january which is another good news is we have we have done a contest for telugu films contest uh, with multiple rounds and the final round is happening this weekend on saturday uh, where uh, six people uh, came from six, six countries you know to participate and it is an online event mm. so that's good that's good so and we have we have done we have included you know we never stopped you know to limit it to one country but however since we are physically presenting present here since uh, organizer myself you know i have to leave it to the public so that this organization will grow by itself you know we have, we have created a fantastic quality management system where the organization can grow by itself mm. wonderful wonderful uh uh you have uh, worked as community leader also to spread the uh, indian art and culture and create created a multicultural platform to the artist see as far as the australia is concerned so in population wise i think it's a very small population so when you are talking about the multicultural platform so so what do you mean by that you know are you talking about the australian aborigines uh, aborigines uh, which are staying there or or the indians or the indian or australian or some similar culture excellent sir every day see life is very short now we all understand the value of life after the covid right you know before covid after covid right after covid what did we understand every day has to be a celebration we are not limiting into one thing okay we are not going to we are not going to become jack of all but at least Yeah. Uh, we'll try to explore uh, different arts, and we will try to bring out the talent where we are really good at. 
Mm. Right? And it is a continuous improvement where we need to follow the formula of inclusivity, mm. inclusivity and equality. So if anyone approaches AIMA, AIMA never stops with any other nationalities. If they want to do an event, we will help them. We do the program management for them. Mm. So it is specific. Let us look for uh, event partners, you know, for nine arts and talent. Okay. You know, for all the nine arts, we are there. You know, we even planned for Arangetram event, you know, for children um, uh, involving uh, dance teachers and, uh, you know, in, in Melbourne and, and uh, other uh, cities in Australia. But however, this pandemic thing, you know, which is still going on. So we have to wait, you know, force major situation around the world. Um, and especially with the dance, there's a lot of makeup uh, and a and lot of things involved, you know, which which I didn't, I didn't want to take a risk. So that plan has been postponed. Now, we also plan in 2021, around October, um, almost like 10 months of planning has been postponed, which is IMAS Film Festival. Okay. Film Festival. Then we did with another, another organization, you know, we tied up, we tie up with them, which is AFT, Mr. Sandeep Marwaha. Thank you so much. You know, he has... Uh, involved us with their film festival, which virtually we, we could promote and we have sent newsletters to the local community just to inform them that IMA is supporting them. If anyone, if their family members or if their you know, uh, friends are in India, if they, can, if they can attend, they are more than happy to attend. You know, I have passed on the invitation, open invitation to everyone to attend that film festival. Oh, great. Oh, great. So, so uh, when it comes to organizing a festival, like, uh, so uh, people from India also, they can, you know, uh, collaborate with you and sort of, you know, um, yes. do a joint venture kind of a thing. Correct. Because if you see our, I mean, you know, there are plenty of what we have done within one and a half year. I'm not sure, you know, whether I, I cannot see, you know, I don't want to praise myself here, but I can see, I'm a, as, a, as a separate entity uh, to myself. So I'm different, I'm a is different. So when I see I'm a as a person, hey, I'm a, you have done a fantastic job. Be proud of yourself. You have achieved you know, more than 10 to 12 open events you know, around the world just in one and a half year. Mm. You know, just to name it, we have also done music videos like Batukama song mm. um, uh, from Aima, which was which was shot in Melbourne. Which was released just as a prayer to, um, you know, Goddess uh, Mata, the you know, Gauri Mata, praying Gauri Mata to step out of the home, and it is just merely a prayer, Bhatkama song, and within 30 days we are out of the homes. The lockdown has been removed. Oh. We released the song on uh, <coughs> sixth, uh, sorry, seventh of October, seventh of November. The lockdown is removed. Oh, that's good. Cool. Right, and we have involved Telugu film industry music musicians. You know, so many more than ten um, Telugu film industry musicians uh, we have worked with in the in the last uh, one and a half year. Not limited to that, we also supported overseas events, more than ten to twelve overseas events, and we we uh, we have conducted locally four to five events and plus uh, six to seven online events. So it's it's a it's a fantastic uh, achievement from IMA. Yeah. Great, immense work has been done. Great, and uh, uh, your, you uh, being a singer, your voice uh, as recognized as a Telugu voice of uh, Australia, yeah. and, and that was your journey. And you acted in Telugu films also, being an actor. So just tell us something about that uh, aspect of your personality too. Uh, th thank you, sir. Uh, see, I am. I'm a bathroom singer. That's what I can say, you know, because I don't call myself a great singer. But if I if I listen to any song, I can pick up the song and I can repeat the the voice and sound of it. And I'm able to, uh, you know, that's how I pursued singing. And also, my father uh, was a great singer. You know, he sing uh, Gantasala Gari songs. Gant you know, the legend Gantasala singer all his songs and also Kishore Kumar, Kishore Da songs, uh, Muhammad Rafi songs from childhood, you know. So, that's, what you yeah. have, that's what you have mentioned that uh, you can sing in uh, multilingual, you know, uh, song. Correct, correct. You know, I've done, uh, I mean, I've performed more than uh, uh, 
500 stages um, in Australia and India so far from from my childhood. You know, more than 500. I never counted, but so many stages I shared. You know, with uh, my fellow singers, musicians, danced on stage, performed as you know, always enjoyed my show. Enjoyed my 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 whatever I did. You know, I treat that as a show. I never did uh, singing. Great. So being an artist, I can see uh, the passion in you. And uh, as you have mentioned that the born in a uh, Tirupalli uh, and you are a singer and you're, you're, you're somewhere you have mentioned that you are a self-made uh, person. So your father was a notable singer. Then how can you um, say that you are a self-made, you are a singer and all? No, sir, because uh, my father never established as a professional singer. You know, he was, oh. he was singing just to put us to sleep, that's all. Yeah, he was, he must be a saintly person. Yeah, yeah, just a normal, you know, like, yeah, we never did uh, singing like a, like a professional singing, you know, but even he never learned music, you know. Okay, well, that's good. So you are blessed with that, um, that uh, Indian classical music. Not and classical, but uh, like music, sir. Great, great. And somewhere you have mentioned that uh, your philosophy is Manav Seva, Madhav Seva, and uh, you believe in Vasudhava Kutambugam. So you, you know, it seems to be you know, closely associated with your roots. Right, sir. Because um, the inclusivity can only come by serving humanity. Mm -hmm. If we don't have right intention doing things, there is never going to be, because the motto is not money and fame. Moto is never money and fame for Iba. It has included a lot of people. It has it has worked with so many artists. And, and I myself being and being born and brought up from Tirupati, um, yeah, being uh, I, I wanted to be an artist. What is an art? Art is form of serving humanity. Serving humanity is serving God. That is where the Vasudaika Kutumbam has come. Because we all die alone, you know, we came alone. Great. Right? And I met a lot of people, great people like you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, uh, now, Mr. Prabhakar, it's a rare combination uh, of, a, you know, one side I can see an artist, great artist in you. And the other, other side, you are a business coach also. You have got an entrepreneurial quality. So, and you have trained more than 2,000 people and more than 2,250 uh, RTOs to become entrepreneur. So how did you, you know, balance together, you know, this quality? Because the artists are basically emotional, you know, they are known to be like that. Correct, sir. Sir, um, as I said, you know, earlier, I always work with the passion of the people. And if someone wants to become an entrepreneur using their passion, whether it can be a shop, whether it is $100,000 or $1 million or $50 million. I have helped business owners as a business coach because that's my bread and butter. So I need to tell you this. Before I started IMA, this is only, we are talking about one and a half year from, from, from past 20 minutes now. Now I need to go back like 17, 18 years where um, it's been 19 years I came to Melbourne. I always lived here in you know, half of my life. I'm 40 year old now and I work, I'm a research uh, assistant. I'm a research scientist, you know, where started my career from Indian Space Research Organization. And after that, I came to Australia mm. after my graduation and, and started um, studying here and then pursued my career in quality assurance, learned, learned and built my passion towards quality management system. That's where I started building my passion towards training, mentoring, not teaching, training, mentoring, and transformation and transitioning. Okay. Well, so, good. which includes automation, which includes advocacy uh, of, the, of the business and their operations, which, which includes, you know, uh, education sector and what we contributed. Because see, if, if, I, go, uh, if, if I go back uh, 17, 18 years ago, all my friends have chosen, they all become either accountant or software engineer. Oh, that's nice. The, as, other than these two, I never found anyone. Mm -hmm. Then I started doing research. Oh my God, no, I don't want to stuck, become a software engineer. That's not, I have not come to this country 
to work as a software engineer for 30 years and die. Mm. I've come here to really serve mm. to either to the sarkar or to the industry or that has to involve so many families. What is that I'm going to do? Definitely. So we can say, so Mr. Is, Clark, yeah. Absolutely. So when I work with small to medium business owners, it is all their families. So the, the, the number, I don't know where you got that 250, fantastic. Uh, it is more than that, actually. I okay. think that's an old number, what I what you are reading. It, it may be more than 300 registered training organizations in Australia where I've been consulted as a business coach. I've done consulting training, mentoring for them, including their staff, 20, 30 people. They always have their own staff who are paying their mortgages. And imagine if you are saving a company like that, and 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 if you are saving the employees and their employment with those companies, what mm. a beautiful, what a what a beauty, you know, what a satisfaction I get. Yes, I can I can very well understand. And I, train, and I train trainers, you know, because of the same reason. If I train a trainer, he will get a job. Definitely, definitely. So we can say that uh, Mr. Prabhakar Agnaja is basically guided by, you know, his inner soul. And that's how he started uh, this passion uh, in Australia, you know, uh, leaving that uh, software engineering part behind. Great. Uh, yeah. yeah, Mr. Prabhakar, uh, what is your global vision of uh, your uh, organization called the Australia India Music Award, AIMA? What, what is your global vision? So global vision is uh, to work with this nine crafts and nine arts and encourage the local talent, local Indian talent. That is the first objective what we have, you know. And globally, we need to have the presence where it can build careers for arts, music and entertainment industry, for Indian diaspora. Being an Indian, being a proud Indian, I'm going to die as a proud Indian. Well, At least there should be a mark. There should be a mark left before I leave well, this life. And you, you need to create a beautiful world around us, uh, you know, which the artist always thinks. Uh, if someone wants to associate with the uh, AIMA, let's say, uh, a normal artist, uh, a people who are running the cultural organization, musical organization, institute, whatever. So how they can associate with you? Very simple, sir. Our email is there, website is there, my Facebook is there. Just type my name on Google. Uh, you, you'll just see me on LinkedIn everywhere. So there's yeah, if, you, if, you can, if you can mention your website and email, that will be a nice, actually. So that will be easy for uh, our MSTP viewers. Absolutely, sir. So for all the viewers and audience, here is our website. Just go to Google, type educator, E-D-U-C-A-T-E-R space, a-I-M-A, -A, I'm a. That's it. You'll get our website, but still I'll give you the website, which is www.cater.edu.edu.au. Then just click on IMA Awards, one of the button on the website, you will see who we are. And you will also understand my educational career, what I've done to the education industry, what courses we offer. Uh, and we also offer music courses, whoever wants to learn, um, Bollywood uh, singing, uh, you know, we have music gurus internally, we have music production courses, you know, offered by our uh, music mentors. So please feel free to contact me and my email is pa at the rate cater, c-a-t-e-r e-d-u dot e-d-u dot a-u and my WhatsApp number plus six one four double three six zero one two four eight. Great, great, Mr. Prabhakar. It was really nice interaction with you, Prabhakar, and uh, I wish that you know, should be, you know, get um, ample success in your venture, which is called AIMA, and let the people uh, join hand with you in your uh, this wonderful. Uh, no problem, sir. Yes, we have plenty of opportunities. Before I finish this session, I think we have come to the end of the session. Looks like I think the time is up. Um, my dear friends, audience, viewers, whoever is watching this, please do approach AIMA. If you have any concept, any you know, uh, contextualization you have done to the program, or if you need a QMS support for your program, if you've got ideas, if you've got a talent, please contact us. 
we will conduct a beautiful presentation. We'll come, we'll work with you to enhance you, to edify your skills, not about us. It's about you. Whoever approaches us, we will edify you. We will enhance you. We will bring out your talent and work with you. Great. Thank you, sir. I think there uh, was an interruption, some signal. Yeah, yeah, there was some interruption. Anyway, so it was really nice talking to you, Mr. Prabhakar, and um, I hope uh, our uh, audience will get a lot of benefit out of your, you know, this interview. Thank you very much, talking to MSTV. Thank you. No problem, sir. Namaste. Thank, Thank you so much.